Planet Vero Studios, brought to you by Evergreen Media, creating cohesive marketing campaigns. Evergreen Media in Vero Beach. Treasure Coast Connector. Connecting residents and businesses of the Treasure Coast. And here's your host, Ellen Contreras. Well, welcome to Treasure Coast Connector. I'm your host, Ellen Contreras. Treasure Coast Connector is the talk show and online community where we spotlight interesting local businesses and resources, then connect them to you, the consumers in the community. Everyone has an interesting story of why they do what they do when we learn about what's happening in our own backyard and support local businesses, it strengthens the local economy. For details on um, promos, discounts, past interviews, check out my website, www.tcconnector.com. Now, we have all dealt with back or neck pain on occasion especially as we get older, but it doesn't mean that we have to deal with that all the time. Joining me in the studio today is Dr. Shelley Anderson. She is the founder and chiropractor of Terrapin Chiropractic located in Fort Pierce, and she works with her patients to address these issues. She's here to talk about her practice and how she helps her patients improve their mobility so welcome to the show thank you thank you for inviting me yeah i'm really happy to have you here because month after month at networking i hear about all of these people or friends or family of people that that you have helped the testimonials are amazing i appreciate that my patients are wonderful yeah yeah and we're going to talk about them and your practice but what i'd love for you to share first is a little bit about your background and why you wanted to become a chiropractor and open your own practice. Um, well, I kind of fell into chiropractic a little bit. My story starts when I was six. Um, I grew up in upstate New York, mm-hmm. Rochester area, for anyone listening from there. And I was skiing with my mom, and she's, I was getting tall, and a six-year-old probably shouldn't be doing this, but when she was really little, when I was really little, I used to ski in between her skis, and she's helped guide me down. I wanted to do that. Well, I was past that point, but being a good mom, she's like, all right. I caused her to fall, and she injured her back very, very badly. Mm-hmm. At that point, we never went to chiropractors, didn't even know what they were. Um, my mom happened to open the local newspaper, and there was an ad for a chiropractor. And this was in the 80s, so they weren't on every corner like they are now. Mm-hmm. So she went, and it was a miracle, because my mom went to every surgeon, neurologist, all, there was nothing they could do for her. They said, here, take pain meds, and that's all we can do, and they didn't help. So after going to the chiropractor, she was within six weeks, she was back to running every single day and doing everything she needed to do. Um, Fast forward, she became the family chiropractor, so when I hurt my back at age 18, lifting things, working a restaurant job, doing things I probably should not have been doing, Um, I started to see her, and then eventually I started to work with her. So she hired me, and I started working for her office while going to school to be an art teacher. Mm -hmm. And while going to school to be an art teacher, I just was so impressed with what chiropractic could do, what she did in her office, how many people she helped. It wasn't even about pain. It was working on their spine, and all these other health issues would clear up. Oh, that's interesting. So that's really what impressed me. It was more about the innate intelligence inside your body and the healing and the nervous system than just Right. And so I decided instead of going on to a master's in education, I just got my bachelor's in art and moved on to my doctor in chiropractic. Wow. Okay. And we're going to talk about that in, in just a moment. But the thing is, is a lot of people think when they hear about going to a chiropractor, mm-hmm. we all think and we see it on TV, the cracking of the neck or the cracking of the back. And that's what we think of. Mm-hmm. But but there's a lot more than that. So um, what are like, what what are like what's your approach basically is what i'm trying to ask my approach is stuttering. very very specific um there's thousands of different techniques i'm sure you people out there watching the tiktoks who are addicted to the the cracking noise and all that love yeah. the tiktok videos that's a different style of chiropractic um i don't practice that way okay. um what i use is this little instrument so my philosophy in chiropractic you is hold, yeah perfect driven off a of gonstead technique Gonstead was a mechanical engineer, so it's all x-rays, motion, palpation, and I start with this little instrument, so I run it down the spine. As you can see, imagine this is a human, and that's Ichabod's spine. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. I run it down the spine and when there's a heat fluctuation that tells me that's inflammation in that joint. That joint is inflamed because the vertebrae are out of alignment putting pressure on the disc which are now putting pressure on the nerve. That is the cause of the problem. So my approach is to find the cause and not chase the symptom. Mm. So people may have neck pain but that's not what's causing their issue. It's usually something like upper back related. Yeah. It's not always where you think you're having your issue. Yeah, and that I think is going to make the light bulb go. It just made me go, Ooh, mm. you know, because that's what, yeah, people are seeking relief from the pain. Mm -hmm. But wouldn't it be nice to actually figure out what is the cause and then hopefully you, you can help treat that. What would you like for prospective patients to, to know about you and your practice? Um, It's a very specific approach. So, and then you don't get crazy treatment plans at my office because I, everybody heals differently so I don't have a crystal ball in front of me to say yes you're gonna get it better in 12 visits a month and then eight visits a month and so forth mm -hmm. I don't do that type of thing because the body heals on its own time depending what your history is what your injury was how long it's been there mm -hmm. do you have arthritis in the spine do you have many herniated discs so everyone's got their own catered treatment nobody is treated the same and every time you come in my office you're gonna get reevaluated every visit so I'm going to check and see what's going on. Did things improve? If it is, I'm going to leave it alone and let the body continue to heal. Or I may work on a different area of the body. So even everyone's visit is different every time they come to my office. Yeah, so I appreciate that because sometimes people think, and, and, and we're we, actually that's, that's a question for another time. So now what type of medical situations do you, or body situations, do you deal with? Um, I deal with just the spine in general. So people come in any joint issue. So I treat knee injuries, shoulder injuries, the jaw that can be aligned, okay. um, fingers, wrists, elbows, you name it. If it's a joint in the body, I can move it. Okay. Uh, but I do clear the spine first to make sure it's not a discomfort coming from the spine. Cause I fix a lot of knee issues in my office. And I don't even touch their knees. It's usually from their pelvis being rotated or an L5 nerve root being pinched off. So that's where yeah. I go back to the evaluation every time and actually rule out, is this truly what's causing this or is it something else going on? I like to get x-rays on my patients so I can see exactly what is going on also because depending how that disc space is looking in this area especially mm -hmm. tells me, do I want to work on sacrum? Do I want to work on L5? Because yeah. the nerve roots come in from in between there depending on their symptoms. So it's mm -hmm. very, um, very thorough, very um, strategic planning on how I work on my patients. Yeah, yeah, and we even spoke about that with mm -hmm. me, you mm -hmm. know, at Anna's lunch on, on Friday. I inadvertently was told for an MRI for a different situation, mm -hmm. my doctor said, oh, by the way, do you have back pain? And I mm -hmm. laughed at him, like, who doesn't? I was in my yeah. 40s at the time, right. you know? Right, say that's normal. Yeah, that's literally, and so he said, well, you have a bulging, not herniated, mm -hmm. he said, it's bulging, you need to just be aware of it. And I went, okay, mm -hmm. and I haven't done anything about it. So um, most of the time, a lot of our traumas when we're young, we just brush ourselves off and get up. Like you see those memes on Facebook is like you did all this tumbling and twirling as a kid and fine. Mm -hmm. Then you just wake up at age 40 and you hurt. All that stuff that happened when you're younger is the reason you hurt at age 40. Mm. Because once those misalignments get in there, the, um, the discs themselves feed their nutrients from the bones. So if you got a misalignment in there, that disc is not in proper position with the bone. It's lacking nutrients. It's shrinking down in size. And when you skip meals, we all shrink down, except for you don't want those shrinking down. So yeah. then the bones eventually start to come closer together, and then they start to develop arthritis. And then you get bulging discs, and you get everything else. So it's a spiraling snowball effect, per se, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of things we did in our younger years that affect us in our older years. Yeah, and I had just posted, uh, Facebook shared a memory with me mm -hmm. that I shared seven years ago, and it was when I had in my bucket list to be on point. And I had spent many years with dance classes and, and really, you know, mm -hmm. tap jazz ballet, stomping around, especially on tap shoes. Mm -hmm. So now I have a better understanding mm -hmm. of why I'm going to be seeing you this week. Well, in most pro athletes, if you look at the teams, every athlete team, every Olympic athlete, they all have a chiropractor on their team. They don't travel without them with mm -hmm. reason because it keeps them in the game because they're constantly abusing their body. So it helps keep their alignment in the best position possible. Um, another, it's, I wouldn't call it medical, but I am certified in prenatal care, pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So I'm Webster certified with that. So I see a lot of pregnant patients as well as I'm trained in pediatrics. Yeah. So they're babies and children mm -hmm. too. Very mm -hmm. good. Yeah. So what we're going to do, I do want to ask some other questions, but I'm looking at the time. I'm going to take a break. 
Cindy is shocked I'm taking a break early because normally she's flagging me down. But we're going to be back with Dr. Shelley Anderson of Terrapin Chiropractic in just a moment. Stay tuned. Good morning, angels. No, not that kind of angels. These are honky-tonk angels. Tough, gritty, love good, love bad. Foot-stomping angels. Life stories in the music. The story of three gutsy girls following their dream to Nashville. Over 30 classic country hits on stage at Riverside Theater starting May 30th. But you don't have to wait. Get your tickets now at the box office or riversidetheater.com. At Sunshine Furniture, our 35,000 square foot showroom is filled with the largest selection of in-stock coastal furniture on the Treasure Coast. Dining and bedroom sets, occasional tables, sofas, sleeper sofas, love seats and chairs, including lots of slipcover styles from Universal Upholstery, Four Seasons, and Capri. We also have a gallery of Tommy Bahama and Lexington furniture designed for a relaxed approach to the finer things in life. And right now, all pictures, lamps, and accessories are half price. Sunshine Furniture, 1295 US 1 in Vero Beach, next to Planet Fitness. Visit our website at sunshinefurniturecasual.com and also visit our outlet and closeout store directly across the street. Waves Auto Spa, known as Vero's fastest and finest. A car wash known for their quality equipment and attention to detail by a friendly and courteous staff. Waves offers soft cloth technology and a top-notch detail center will help preserve the value of your car. Waves now offers windshield chip repair, and in most cases, it doesn't cost you a dime. Spend less time and get a better quality experience for you and your car at Waves Auto Spa, US 1 Vero Beach, across from Kmart Plaza. Open seven days a week. back to Treasure Coast Connector. I'm your host, Ellen Contreras, and I'm with Dr. Shelley Anderson of Terrapin Chiropractic. And I wanted in the first half, because I know what's happening. People are like, where is she? <laughs> the people that are watching this see this beautiful graphic, but for the um, iHeartRadio and podcast mm -hmm. community, how do they find you? What's your address, your phone um, number, website? My phone number is area code 585-576-7890. That's the best way to reach me. You can also go to my website, terrapincairo.com. So that's T-E-R-R-A-P-I-N-C-H-I-R-O.com, where there's also a lot of information as well as online booking. So you can also book your appointment straight from there as well. Mm -hmm. Then you can find me on Instagram and uh, Facebook at Terrapin Cairo as well. Okay, perfect. And the physical address, where you're located? The physical address is 301 South US 1, Fort Pierce, Florida, 34950. Okay. All right. Very good. So now we, we mentioned bo before the break that a lot of people think, well, I don't want to go to a chiropractor because I'm going to have to go once a week for the rest of my life or, you know, and you were mm -hmm. talking about the treatment plans and you don't operate that way. So that's kind of like a, whew, all right, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. But for the very first visit, what can a first time patient expect from the visit? First visit, you'll come in, of course, you have your fun packet of paperwork that you get at every office. Then I go over that with you, and a lot of, there's a lot of health questions on there. And then we dive deeper into what's going on with your health, what past injuries have you had, what um, organ systems are not functioning. I look a lot at their medication list because that gives me an idea of what's going on in their body. And then I start asking them more of them where their complaint is in their spine because quite often they're correlated to their organ complaints as well, mm. the internal complaints. Because the nervous system powers it from the spine. Yeah. That's your electrical system. Mm -hmm. So if you got a stomach issue, most likely you got a mid-back issue. Um, this is stuff I find it's not fact, I guess you could say, but from my clinical experience, that is what I see going on. People mm -hmm. who suffer from diarrhea, constipation, usually have a low back issue, headaches, migraine, neck. They're all tied hmm. together. With children, I see a lot of ear infections in my practice. That's also oh, upper gosh. cervical neck. What kid doesn't have an ear infection it's at some point? The yeah. fluid gets trapped, so I've helped mm -hmm. a lot of kids not have to get tubes, mm -hmm. so it's cool. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah, because it's so painful. I it was is. just thinking about that. I suffered when I was a child. Yeah, yeah. My brother did. I I don't recall, but but that's but that's good, a good thing. <laughs> so now children and pregnant women, mm-hmm. and of course, you, you mentioned before we started that you work with like the working age mm-hmm. population. Mm-hmm. So you're not working with seniors, but it's 65 and younger mm-hmm. that you work with and you do take insurance. Is that correct? I am not in network with insurance. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, okay. So what I do is very specific and I spend a lot of time with my patients, which is the reason I made that decision. So mm-hmm. I could focus on my patient's health care and not nice. what insurance is going to cover. Okay. So to me, I want to be a doctor on how I want to be a doctor. Yeah. I Yeah. Then so, there's direct primary mm-hmm. care, you know, physicians, mm-hmm. general physicians and things. So, okay. Very good. Um, and then on your website, I'm, I have to read this, your tagline, adjusting you to a higher quality of life. And I like that. That's very positive because you mentioned earlier about um, people sometimes feel like, well, I have to take pain meds. Mm-hmm. And then there's people like me that I've seen what pain meds have done to other people. Mm-hmm. And I say, no, Tylenol, maybe, Mm -hmm. you know, Uh, otherwise I just put up with it Mm -hmm. when I have a lower back issue. Um, And then surgery. Mm -hmm. So there are cases where you've been able to get patients to a better state of health where they didn't have to go the route of pain meds or even delaying Mm -hmm. a a surgery. You bought them some time. Is that? Yeah. um, A lot of the time it's yeah we're buying them time because a lot of them are so young so especially if you're going with surgeries they're going they may have to be redone later on in the road especially if you're working and you're abusing your body still yeah um like especially knees things like that every time you get a hip replacement or a knee replacement you're having to graft bone the time frame's gotten a lot better on how long that will actually last it used to be very short but still you don't want to be doing that at such a young age because then by the time you're in your depending when you have it done by the time you're retiring you're going into another surgery Mm. But my tagline also is about how chiropractic can help your whole nervous system. So it's yeah, not just about, about that a little it's bit not more. just about the pain. Um, quite often, non-pain symptoms that patients come into after they've been treated is they're sleeping better. Mm-hmm. Their mood is so much better. Uh, their headaches or migraines are gone. All things that they not necessarily came in for, but they're just side effects mm-hmm. of chiropractic that are beneficial to them. Yeah, They have more energy mm-hmm. is another mm-hmm. one. They don't have to drink five cups of coffee a day to stay awake because their nervous system is functioning better. I understand. I do like my coffee. I like my coffee too, Mm -hmm. but I don't drink as much as I used to once since I've been under care regularly. Yeah. And a whole bunch of things that just things you wouldn't think of because we get pigeonholed into pain management doctors basically, but it's way bigger than that. Yeah, no, that that's, that's very, very true. Um, okay, so now there was another question I was going to ask. Yes, and, and it wasn't really on here, but I'm looking. We have a couple of minutes, which is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, testimonials, are there? And you, of course, don't have to give names, mm-hmm. but if you can talk about a situation that, I mean, because I've heard yeah. them, but I, I want I want people. There's, there's many cool ones that I hear. Like I had a patient come in for mid-back pain who was having heart arrhythmias. I have that in her health history, but that's not what I was treating. I was just treating her back. She had been to many specialists over the years trying to figure it out. They could never give her an answer. After a couple of visits, the arrhythmias got under control. Wow. So I didn't do anything to touch that. It's just all I did was fix her spine, her nervous system. Mm-hmm. Her body did all the healing. Yeah. And that's what I'm about, um, like getting children not to have tubes in their ears is another one because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. um, you help the fluid drain out of the ear so you don't need to puncture their ear to do that yeah uh, babies are my biggest one i get a lot of babies with colic i think colic oh, is yeah. it's a stomach ache okay. it's just they're crying they can't tell you they're hurting so i usually will find the misalignment in their spine the subluxation mm-hmm. and i adjust it and they get better they're not they don't have back pain. They don't have like the injuries like normal people have, but it's just mm-hmm. a situation where now they're better or they're constipated or they have diarrhea. I mentioned that before. Fix it. They start getting better and the colic goes away. They start sleeping better. They're not fussy. Oh, yeah. The doctors, um, the medical industry, I should say, tries to tell mom just, oh, change in food or start giving them solids and things like that at a very young age. They don't only have teeth yet. They don't have saliva to even digest it. Mm-hmm. Yet that's not the problem. <laughs> Right. Yeah. But it's um they they probably got heartburn or something. So. 
Yeah. Right. And a colicky baby, you know, they're they're frustrated. Mm-hmm. And mom's but frustrated. It wears you down. It does. You know, it does. and you lose sleep. Mm-hmm. You know, so does the baby. Mm-hmm. And everybody's cycle and pattern and habit is all off track. Mm-hmm. So, wow. And then headaches, too. Mm-hmm. People lose a lot of time with with headaches. Great, great. Fun. I'm going to knock on wood as I say mm-hmm. this. Where's some wood, Cindy? Where's wood um, that I don't deal with? with headaches but i, I did them. have one uh, many years ago i thought my brain was exploding mm-hmm. it hurt so bad. badly i was really i was severe. a teenager yeah so that must be uh, like an amazing testimonial too i had chronic headaches as a teenager i used to live off ibuprofen and then once i started going to see a chiropractor they went away now it's very rare that i get a headache mm-hmm. and i still will suffer through it i know when i get one i need to go get adjusted mm-hmm. and it clears up usually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so sometimes it takes a day because everybody's he- body heals different some people think they're going to get immediate relief from the adjustment yeah sometimes you don't sometimes it takes a day to set in and your nervous system to readapt to what is going on yeah so i kind of look as an adjustment it's almost like a reset so that that's interesting because um i will when i'm working long stretches of, of mm-hmm. time at home i work from from my home office i have a really nice chair ergonomically everything is is set properly but i'm hunched over i'm mm-hmm. concentrating I try to get up every hour, mm-hmm. but when I get up, I'm doing a duck walk. Mm-hmm. Like, this hurts. Mm-hmm. This isn't fun. So that's that's what I'm I'm hoping for is that maybe that can be you know mm-hmm. dealt with. But but you're right that if somebody did pull a muscle or do something that yeah maybe you adjust them, but it might take a couple of days. Mm-hmm. It's not an instant. <gasps> Like, oh, the pain is all of a sudden gone. Depending how, uh, what your situation is, some people feel that immediate, like, stress, like something just took a weight off their shoulders. Mm -hmm. But depending how acute they are, it's going to take some time. Sometimes it takes a couple of visits to really get things moved. You're very swollen down there, too. Mm -hmm. Swelling puts pressure on the nerves, which creates pain as well. So there's a a lot going on that it takes time sometimes. That's one of the major chiropractic principles and chiropractic philosophy is time. Mm -hmm. You got to let the body do its thing it's just like you had a big boulder on your rock your foot yeah i take it off you're still going to have some soreness there for a little bit from that being there that long Mm -hmm. so it's kind of like a subluxation putting pressure on a nerve kind of a similar situation that nerve has been stressed out for so long depending how long that subluxation has been there it's going to take time for the body to catch up yeah yeah get corrected i understand um okay so now is there any other question that you get a lot that you can answer right now that you know that uh, maybe that you'd love to just uh, address because you hear it all the time a lot of people are just afraid of chiropractic um we haven't been shown positively i feel like in from medical colleagues Mm -hmm. um and you see tiktok videos where you look like your head's gonna be ripped off some people like watching that but scares the heck out of a lot of people yeah and i want to let people know it is safe and most chiropractors don't adjust like that I personally call them shock value videos. Mm -hmm. So um, find a chiropractor that works for you, though. There's thousands of them out there, just like there's thousands of MDs. You don't like one, you find a new one. Mm -hmm. Don't let one bad experience with one office make you turned off from the whole profession. Because it's a great thing that should be added to your healthcare regimen Mm -hmm. and is needed. You need your spine in proper health or it's going to cause problems with everything. Yeah. So find a different one. Interview a couple. Look on their websites. Look at their reviews. See what mm-hmm. people are saying about them. Find the personal referral. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people just go off whatever their insurance takes. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the right fit for you. Right. Do a little more lake work. Find someone that aligns well with you. Well, very good. Well, I have gotten a lot of, oh, we have one minute left. She'll give me 10 if I ask her nicely. No, she won't. <laughs> um, but I've, I've heard so many people that I know personally. So I'm excited to, to, to see you this week. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look right at this camera and say, if you've never been to a chiropractor, you have some pain, or maybe, you know, you just didn't like a a doctor in the past, then the answer is give Dr. Shelly Anderson a call, terrapinchiro.com, 301, oh, I'm going to cheat and look off of this, 301 South U.S. Highway 1, Suite 2, and it's 585-576-7890. And thank you, Dr. Anderson, for being on the show. My name is Ellen Contreras, host of Treasure Coast Connector. I hope that everyone has a safe, wonderful, productive week. Until next week, I miss you already.